everybody it's Victoria Marie I'm back with another scrapbook process video I have been forever and a day trying to get this video up so finally here it is <laughs> I'm totally over it this week is crazy going into the holidays and I'll be MIA next week as well so you may not see a video from me next week but stay tuned I've got some plans as we return um, we're going out of town for the holidays so um, when I return I'll have some more scrappy goodness for you so I am doing a layout of my little girl and this fall she was riding um, her bike on a really pretty day and I just decided to snap some photos of her to go into her four-year-old album I'm showing you some different products that I'm going to be using this page is going to be um, I'm going to use a lot of distress or not distress a lot of mixed media techniques on here I'm using a textured white uh, cardstock for my background and i um, going to embellish a little bit with some Heidi Swap and some Mambi Pack um, embellishments and cutouts and die cuts and things of that nature. And I'm going to also use some Tim Holtz Distress paints and some mist and some gesso and some texture paste, or uh, not texture paste. <laughs> I forget what it's called. <laughs> anyway, you're going to see in a minute. So I'm pouring some different colors of this Tim Holtz Distress Paint in my paint palette. And I'm using, I believe, um, Broken China Mowed Lawn and Spun Sugar. And the yellow, I think, is some kind of mustard color. And I put a bit of water in my one of the wells there because I wanted this... I wanted the paint to go on and look like a watercolor. Of course, I could have just used watercolors because I have those. But I also want to use this paint, this ink, because there's just so much that you can do with it. And so I was playing around with it. I want to create a cluster at the bottom so that the focus will be on the three pictures. I'm going to add to the layout of my little one. So I take a little bit of water and I dip it in the paint. And of course, paint that on the page. And in a minute, I'm going to add more colors on here. But in the middle of doing this layout, it's not going to look all that awesome <laughs> to me. But it's one of those things, it's like I'm trying it out, and hey, I'm going to commit to it. Whether it looks good or not, I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to do this layout. I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to put it in her album, and I'm going to move on with life. So I add a little bit of this um, sponge sugar to the layout. And in a minute, I'm going to add the mode lawn and then that yellow color. As soon as I add that yellow color, I'm thinking, oh... That's too yellow. I didn't mute it enough because it looks way too mustardy and there's not yellow in the photos. It's mainly pink, but hey, that's all right too. So I thought I'd remedy that a little bit with the green and it didn't come out light enough. So I thought, well, let me just go ahead and dry it all and see how it looks dried. And it was just a little bit too much. So I decided, hey, let me get out some gesso. So I bust out some gesso and what that's going to do is that's going to mute it a little bit and add a little bit more texture and then I'm going to dry it as well. And at this point I'm halfway happy with it, but I'm not going to do it over. <laughs> so I take out a brayer from American Crafts. It has little hearts on it and some VersaFine ink. And I'm going to add that to the page as well, those little hearts. And then I pull out my mask from Heidi Swap and some modeling paste. I was trying to say that earlier and I forgot what it was as well as some gelatos. And my thought is, is I'm gonna take some of that modeling paste and I'm going to tint it with some of the gelatos. And I pull out this really pretty pink color and I forget what it's called. I think it's called like lemonade or something like that. And you see me cutting off a piece of the gelatos. Yes, you can do that. You can cut off a piece of the gelatos. And I'm going to mix that in with the modeling paste to tint that. And I'm gonna use that modeling paste to add with my stencil to add a little bit of texture on there. There are three different designs on this little squared stencil. There's hearts, there's circles, and there's stars. And I decided to use the circles because I already have hearts from the stamping that I just did with my rare. I don't know if you can see this well on the video, but there it is. And I'm going to take my heat gun again, and I'm going to dry that all up. Okay, so at this point I'm thinking, well, it can't get any worse. So <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and commit to it. And it's looking decent. It's not bad. It's looking decent. So I'm going to add some adhesive on to the photos. And I've attempted to do a page with these photos before, so I already had some adhesive on there, and I decided I didn't like it, so I'm doing this over. Do it, I did it over. So I'm going to add some foam tape to that middle photo to kind of add a little bit of dimension to the page. And now it's time to embellish. So I'm going to pull out some embellishments that I have laying around on my desk. And the first thing I'm going to add to it, because I felt that it needed sort of an anchor, 
is some of that sparkly gold washi tape. And then I'm going to add another washi tape that has gold in it as well. And then I'm starting to add some die cuts and some chipboard elements. Some are from Heidi Swap. Some are some cutouts that I cut from a Mambi pack that I have. And I'm moving these different elements around the page to see how I like it. I want to add an arrow because I like arrows just provide direction and I want to call the attention to um, the pictures of my little little munchkin. I find these uh, triangles and I'm trying to do something with that. So I'm going to go ahead and commit and start uh, adhering these on using some Tombow Mono adhesive. I found some cute stars. And no, I'm not afraid to put things on my photos. <laughs> so you can see me adding some different elements on the photo. Then the title, I love the, I like the word love there, but it's not really a part of my title, even though it's so bold on there. But the title is, um, what a good day to ride a bike. And I ride to ride a bike um, underneath. I'm going to add some journaling to the page, which kind of talks about, um, how sweet she looked riding her bike and how she's becoming such a big girl and all those things. I'm going to add a little bit of the Heidi Swap Mist in Blush. So it's a nice uh, light sort of rose color. It's really, really pretty. And what you're not going to see is I'm going to add that a, a little bit more at the top of that layout and then I decide it's too much, but hey, that's okay. And I'm also going to back this whole layout on another piece of um, uh, pattern paper because it kind of um, bulges a bit with all of that texture on there. All right, so pictures are coming up. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.